Hey guys, I wanted to get on here today and show you how I made this. This is kind of like messy looking, sorry. But um, how I did this, somebody commented on one of my videos where I bought this container. I did not buy it. Um, it's just a regular clear container and I just kind of, I don't know, made it look a lot better. <laughs> it's really easy. All you're really going to need is some kind of ribbon, some like little rhinestones, and then whatever these are called, the little, these are stickers, uh, well I guess you can't see that, okay, <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom in for you, if it'll focus, like, they're like little rhinestone stickers, and then this is ribbon, so let me zoom back out, okay, this is the ribbon that I use, I ordered it offline, you can go to Hobby Lobby, or Michael's, or I think you can even get ribbon at Walmart. I think this is about an inch. You could also, I mean, it doesn't have to be zebra. I have like black and I have this big old roll of pink. I have a lot of ribbon because um, I got on this kick where I was making these, hold on, I'll push this out of the way so I can show you. I make these tutu dresses. You're not even going to be able to see it because I have to kind of smash it. But um, I use them for the halter top part. I had a little shop on Etsy, but I haven't. Um, I don't know, I kind of didn't keep up with it, but that's what they look like. And then I have another one that looks like this, but I don't know if you can tell the colors. It's, it's like a really spring looking dress, but they're some really easy to make as well. And then I had the rhinestones for another dress that I got asked to make. So I needed it for that, and then these little stickers, because I make like these little flower clips for your hair. So you can see that. That's where I got the... I had a bunch of stickers because of that. So everything that I had that I used for this, I already had. And I guess like if you were to go buy it, it might cost you like 10 bucks. And just so you know, the little rhinestones, I got those at Michael's and this is the case that it came in. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. I got these at Hancock Fabrics. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your ribbon and you're going to cut it, obviously to trim it to fit that area and you're going to pull it right here pretty much you're going to go all the way around to make sure you have enough fabric to fit, to fit the whole drawer and once you cut it, I'm not going to cut it because I don't want to waste this but you're going to use your hot glue gun I got this one, oh no I don't think you can see it <laughs> the cutest hot, gun, hot glue gun ever um, I got this one at Michael's for like four bucks so what you're going to do is glue, I put like a strip of glue and I press it, oh no, I went glue everywhere. I press it right there, get that off. And then I do more glue right in here. Let me move this up. I do more glue right in here. I pull the ribbon around and then I do another thing of glue here <laughs> and then another glue here, strip of glue here and then close it up. And I did that all the way down, and then, honestly, the shelves itself, they might have taken five minutes to do the whole thing. It's really fast once you get going. These are what took the longest. Um, let me zoom in just a little bit more. I want you to be able to see it. Um, I had to glue each one like individual one and then I glued two on there like one in the middle and then two right there and then I glued I'm not very good at this <laughs> doing it this way um, I just put one in the middle and when you buy these little things like little rhinestones like this I mean they're just one giant sticker if it'll focus this camera has got a mind of its own, I swear. Okay, it's not going to focus. Anyway, when you buy these, it comes like in a big, it's like a big sticker, and you can cut how many you need, and that's what I did. I just, I didn't take them apart. I just cut it to where it would fit. I got six on each side. So, when I was bringing it in here, I knocked a rhinestone off, so I'll just show you how I fix it. Let me zoom out for you. Oh, no. Sorry, I know this is all over the place. Sorry, I gotta move my 
camera some. Okay, so that's the spot where it's missing. All you're basically going to do is put just a little bit of glue on it. Because if you ever used a hot glue gun, you know this is extremely messy. You can pick up all the extra stuff, strings and everything at the end. And I basically just make sure it's center and just pop it back on. So it's really easy, it's really fast. Um, you can do this probably in 15 minutes. I just think it makes it look a lot better. Sorry, I'm like really messing this up. I just think it makes it look a lot better than it just being plain. And then you can't see, I mean for the most part I have mine semi-organized to what's in each drawer. Oh no, I hit that glue. Well, I guess I'll show you again how to do it because I just knocked it off. You need to definitely be careful with this because this stuff's hot. But just push it back on. And, I don't know, it just makes it look a lot better because then you can't see, like, what all... That's my messy palette one. But, uh, I imagine you can do this on the big ones. I don't see why you couldn't. It's just going to take you a little longer and a little bit more stuff. But if you bought a roll of this, it is... I think there's 25 yards in this, I think. Oh, this is an inch and a half. It's not an, I'm sorry, this is not, you're going to need an inch and a half if you have this one. But, there you go. It's really simple. It'll probably take you like 15 minutes or so to do it. Just be careful with the glue gun. But if you got any questions, let me know. And subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.